Välkommen, jag sitter här med den amerikanska psykologen och författaren Guy Winch som är här i Sverige för att träffa mig, delta i TEDxx Talks och framförallt prata om sin nya bok. Och det handlar om ett väldigt aktuellt och viktigt ämne, Emotional First Aid, hur vi kan ta hand om våra känslor och vårt inre på bästa sätt. But it's very, I mean, it's a challenge uh, to live today because we are all the time exposed to so many messages and uh, we need somehow to create a filter of what we want to see and hear and uh, what we want to get influenced by. Absolutely. And um, ev almost everyone is using social media platforms like Facebook and Instagram. How does this affect us? I think it affects us tremendously. There is a lot of research about mm. this. I mean, let's just look at Facebook mm. as an example. Mm. So what most people put on Facebook is, look how great my life is. Mm -hmm. Right? So here's the picture of me on vacation. Look how happy I am. Mm. Oh, here's me with my children. Look how great they are. Mm. No one puts the picture of, look how terrible my child is in this picture. Mm. Or this is our terrible, terrible vacation, or this is the party that I hated going to. That's mm. not what's on Facebook. It's mm. all the great stuff. Now, if you're not feeling great, mm. if you're feeling lonely, or if you're feeling rejected, mm. then when you go and look at Facebook, everyone's life is better than yours, it seems. Yeah. Everyone is out there at this party. You know, people put the pictures that are, you know, no one puts a picture of an empty room. Look, that's where I am. Mm. So. It, it gives what a misleading do you think would thing. happen if, uh, if, if we would start doing that? I think it would be great. You think so? No one's going to do it. But <laughs> I think it would be great. Because, in other words, what are you advertising there? Mm. I'm alone. Look, here's my empty sofa. In other words, it, it's just not something we do. But it makes people feel bad. Mm. People on social media, um, I used to say that in order to be rejected, mm. 15 years ago, you actually had to interact with someone. Not today. Today, all you have to do is put up your vacation pictures mm -hmm. and your 533 friends <laughs> don't like them and you feel rejected 533 times. And even worse, I liked her vacation pictures, so now I really feel bad that she didn't like mine. But the actual reality is, she saw them, she was just really busy. And the next time she sees you, she might say, it looks like you had such a great time on vacation. Mm. Yeah. But you don't know that, and so we tend to assume the worst. Yeah. Because we didn't get retweeted, they didn't like my Instagram picture or my Facebook update, and we tend to think, so no one's paying attention to me, no one likes me, as opposed to people are busy, they only check once in a while. Mm -hmm. And so it's, it's a whole new arena mm -hmm. of uh, a place where we have these strong emotional responses. Yeah, but it's hard because we are social beings, all of us. Yes. We need to be in a social context and we need to share and we need people around us. And uh, in that matter, social media platforms are really great because they are connecting people. Um, I mean, somehow uh, this interview is uh, because of the social media, so it's good as well. Yes. But how can we, how can we learn to uh, pick out the good parts of the social media platforms and protect us from uh, being hurt? Okay, but you see, that's yeah. a wonderful question, and mm -hmm. in it is the answer. We need to use social media wisely. Mm. We need to learn how to pick up the good parts. It's not so innocent as uh, it's some not. people It's not, because, think. you know, I mean, I'm sure you know many people who do this, who are, mm. let's say, they feel lonely, mm. and they will, or here's a better example, you know, somebody who, who mm. just, their boyfriend broke up with them, and they spend the whole day looking at the, base, at the boyfriend's Facebook page, going, now mm. they're doing this, now they're dating this person, now, now, what good comes of that? Other than making yourself feel really, really miserable, mm -hmm. what possible good? Now, yes, you're very curious, mm -hmm. but this is about using some wisdom. Mm -hmm. You know, and again, when, it com when we have physical wounds, mm -hmm. we don't make them worse on purpose. No. But when we have a psychological wound, we don't have the sophistication, so we will go and look at the Facebook page and make ourselves feel miserable yeah. for absolutely no good reason. Because the best that can happen is you see nothing and then, that's a nothing. But there's no good outcome. It's nothing or bad. Yeah. And so we have to have the wisdom to use you know, social media wisely and yeah. to make choices that are wise. It's, it's really interesting how you work because me personally, if I have a really good day and I'm happy and I see uh, my feed and my friends are posting all positive things, I'm really happy for them and I'm happy to have them as friends. 
But if I feel, uh, for example, lonely, or I had a bad day, I have a bad mood, and I see those uh, happy updates, yeah, it makes me feel even more lonely. Right. Yeah. And my suggestion is, when you're feeling bad, mm. don't go on Facebook. No. 